Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on radius of curvature. In our previous videos, we are dealing radius of curvature, center of curvature. At the end, we found circle of curvature. So, in this session, we are going to do radius of curvature alone in polar coordinate. Just a quick recap. We assume y1 as dy by dx, y2 as d square y by dx square, similarly x1, x2 and we express radius of curvature in Cartesian form. Now we are going to express radius of curvature in polar form. So let r equal to f of theta be the given curve in polar coordinates. In Cartesian coordinates, we have x comma y. In polar coordinates, we have r comma theta. So let us do the assumption. I am going to take r1 as my dr by d theta. r2 is d square r by d theta square. Now we can write the radius of curvature formula in polar form. Form. My rho is going to be r square plus r1 square whole power 3 by 2 in the denominator r square plus 2r1 square minus rr. So let us go into a simple problem. Let us go into a problem and we can find radius of curvature in polar form. Find the radius of curvature of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. In semester 2, we are going to see a detailed version of cardioid. What is cardioid? How we are going to find the area of cardioid? All these things yet to come. Here just we are going to take my r is a into 1 minus cos theta. So r1 is going to be a into differentiation of 1 is 0. Cos theta differentiation is minus sin theta. Already we have 1 minus. So minus into minus plus. So it is going to be simply a into sin theta. Next r2 is equal to d by d theta of r1 as usual we do in Cartesian coordinate y2 is equal to d by dx of y1. So d by d theta of a into sin theta. So we will be getting a cos theta. So my r1, r2 is ready. Next we are going to find the numerator and denominator for rho. We know the formula r square plus r1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2r1 square minus rr. Now we are going to compute r square plus r1 square and the denominator r square plus 2r1 square minus rr2. So it is easy to find the radius of curvature. Now just we can write this and we know the value of r and r1 square. Substituting here and expanding this 1 minus cos theta whole square will be getting this. Now multiply a square inside and we see a square cos square theta a square sin square theta. So if I take a square outside we will be getting cos square theta plus sin square theta. Finally it is a square because we know the classical formula this is going to be 1. Now we have a square. a square plus a square is equal to 2a square. Now taking this 2a square in common will be getting 2a square into 1 minus cos theta. In our school days, we remember this formula cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So 2 sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. But we have 1 minus cos theta. For 1 minus cos theta, I can rewrite this as 2 sin square theta by 2. So just substituting this, we get 2a square 2 sin square theta by 2. Why I am doing like this? Because we are having power 3 by 2 in row at the numerator. So this is easy for me to compute. Therefore my numerator is 4a square sin square theta by 2. Next we are going to find the denominator. Just recall the row formula r square plus r1 square whole power 3 by 2. In the denominator we have r square plus 2r1 square minus rr2. So this value partially I can found from the numerator. So I am rewriting r square plus 2r1 square as r square plus r1 square plus r1 square minus r2. Now from the previous data we have the value instant. So I can write this here and r1 square value is a square sin square theta r r2 r is this r2 is a cos theta so a into a a square cos theta into 1 minus cos theta now simplifying 
will be getting a square sin square theta minus a square cos theta plus a square cos square theta. Now I can club these two things together will be getting a square minus a square cos theta. If I take this a square in common, I will be getting a square into 1 minus cos theta plus 2a square into 1 minus cos theta. Taking 1 minus cos theta in common, we will be getting 3a square into 1 minus cos theta. Just now in the previous slides, we see 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. So let us write this as 6a square sin square theta by 2. So now my numerator is ready, denominator is ready. Let us proceed and find the row. Now substitute the values in the formula. We will be getting 4a square sin square theta by 2 whole power 3 by 2 divided by 6a square sin square theta by 2. Now take square root in the numerator 2a sin theta by 2 whole cube divided by 6a square sin square theta by 2. Therefore, my row is going to be 8a cube sin cube theta by 2 divided by 6a square sin square theta by 2. Now, sin square theta will get cancelled with this, a square cancel with this. Therefore, the radius of curvature rho is 4 by 3 a into sin theta by 2. This is the radius of curvature for the given problem cardioid r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. Hope you understand. In all our previous videos, we did always circle of curvature for different problems. So, they can ask problems on radius of curvature also. I just do one random problem. Find the radius of curvature for x cube plus y cube is equal to 2 at 1 comma 1. So, now we are going to find y1. y1 is simply dy by dx. So now, y cube is equal to 2 minus x cube. I cannot take cube root in this problem. So, I just keep as it is. Now, differentiating this with respect to x, 3y square into dy by dx. This dy by dx we will be writing as y1 because our notation is y1 minus 3x square. Therefore, my y1 is going to be minus 3x square divided by 3y square. So, y1 is going to be minus x square by y square. Now, at the point 1 comma 1, my y1 is immediately minus 1. We keep in mind, it is helpful for us to find y2. So, now y1 is ready. Next, we have to find y2. My y2 is going to be d by dx of y1. My y1 is minus x square by y square. Just apply u by v rule. v du minus u dv divided by v square. Now, y2 is going to be y square whole square. y square into minus 2x. Differentiation of minus x square is minus 2x minus minus x square into differentiation of y square is 2y into y1. This is very important. And we know the value of y1. We know the value of y1 is minus 1 and x comma y is 1 comma 1. We don't want to simplify and waste our time here. Just substitute the points and get the value of y2 immediately. Therefore, my y2 is going to be 1 into minus 2 minus into minus plus 1, 2 into 1 into minus 1. In the denominator, we will be having 1. So, minus 2 minus 2 is going to be minus 4. Therefore, my y1 is minus 1, y2 is minus 4. My rho is going to be 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y2. So, 1 plus minus 1 whole square whole power 3 by 2 divided by minus 4. If I simplify this further, I will be getting 2 power 3 by 2 by minus 4. That is 2 root 2 divided by minus 4. Therefore, my rho is going to be root 2 by 2 or 1 by root 2 because rho cannot be negative. I just neglect the negative sign. So, we will be getting the answer rho is equal to 1 by root 2. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.